G'day folks, John in Thailand again, oh I wonder if that's one of the trucks that's going to be delivering stuff for me, it's like a little express, oh that's Flash, he's got it on the back, yeah I ordered some stuff on Lazada, uh, so we've got two reject posts, the rest are dodgy and we'll need to have uh, the holes re-drilled or the concrete ground out, whatever. We haven't checked these yet, but I started putting the N1 together. I had the steel all prepared, and I come across a problem. Uh, concrete's not right there, and I thought, oh, instead of pulling it out and grinding it, I'll just clamp it in there. It's got a little bit of flexibility. It's not very thick, 1.2 millimetres, I think. So, yeah, it's just... One of those things, but I'm slowly even getting there. Uh, I'll do the other side. I wasn't going to do this end first, and I thought, oh, well, the ground's downhill from over there down to here, so if I get it wrong, if there's uh, a flood, at least up there's going to be dry. So, yeah, I was going to do this this one here first, which is uh, six metres long. Along here, it's six metres to be 2.4 wide and that one over there is the same 6 by 2.4 this one's 5.5 uh, I just wanted to keep a little bit at the end so we could put stones after it's all finished put stones down I've got the the wood around the outside there and I've got a piece of wood that goes here I've got to find a piece of wood for this little section along here but we can have stones, and then when it's wet weather, we can come down and we're not walking around in the mud. But that's something we've got to do after the tanks are up and running. Now, I bought 60 of those uh, concrete posts, and we're down to 58. I'm assuming there might be another dodgy one in there. Uh, who knows? don't know until you actually get the tape measure out and measure them and uh, I'm not doing that right now I've just been up to Wang Sai Poon which is like 25 kilometers from here to pay the registration on the motorbike and the tractor they call it tax here which is what it is it's not registration it's tax once you've got a number plate that's the registration then everything after that is tax so you pay ten dollars or whatever the price is for a number plate that's registration and then tax yeah that annoys me should pay it once but you know what governments are like never get enough money out of the people keep everyone poor well try to <laughs> yeah so still a fair bit of work to do over there but those ones will be outside over here on the other side of the grapevines which are coming along nicely um, just have to get uh, someone who was Dick's brother who was uh, using the land to level it off again um, you know he had um, oh, crikey, I think it was cucumbers he had growing in there it's been a while so I've forgotten what they were and uh, he made little mounds, you know, they sort of run for about 30 metres, 40 metres down there, and you've got like 25 or 30 of them. Yeah, so that's it for today. I haven't got much more to talk about, apart from the fact that it's a damn hot day. And I bought a bottle of Pepsi up at one side Poon, and it's all gone. Well, it's only a little 600 mil bottle, I think. All gone. So I'm going to leave you with it, folks and uh, go back to the house which is only about two and a half kilometers away and have a big drink of pepsi or iced tea or something else bye now have a good day